Service history shows detailed information on all ABLE services performed at each of your locations. You can drill down to a specific service call to get details on what transpired in the past. Your service history also gives you a record of all comments entered by your ABLE service technician for each inspection. Choose service history from the main menu. You can access the data by entering a specific date period or by entering a ticket number. The ticket number is the number that appears on the paper report your service technician gives you upon completing a service call. If you want to narrow your search to a specific area of your facility, select the site filter and choose one or more locations from the drop down menu. You can drill down to a precise location by clicking the plus signs on the left. Select Apply Filter and Close. Saved Filters allows you to save report filters you've created for later use. Simply set the filters as you want them and select Create. Name the filter and save it. Next time you access the report, the customized filter is automatically loaded for you. If you ever wish to remove a filter, Select it in the Saved Filters drop-down list and click the Zap Current button. You can also filter the reports by choosing to show all services or services with or without scanned tickets. Once you've set your filters, select Submit to run the report. At any time, you can collapse the filter menu by clicking the minus sign next to the Help button. This will give you a bit more space to view the report. Each line represents information pertaining to a service visit, including the date, the location, the ticket info, the type of service performed, and a brief description. To view a copy of the ticket, click on the ticket number. You can view an electronic version or a scan of the original ticket by clicking on the tabs at the top. If any comments or findings were made on a service call, you'll see a plus sign on the left. Click on it to drill down to more detailed information for that visit. First, you'll see a summary of key comments, followed by the specific service time, the unique device ID, the type of service performed, the condition of the device, its location and type, plus notes on any pest sightings and the scale of activity. The gray lines contain comments made by the technician. If you wish to print a report, select the XLS button for an Excel version of the report. The CSV option generates a standard text file with comma-separated values. ABLE's ESM Service History Report will enable you to instantly see the details of any service visit. That sure makes it easy to keep track of what's gone on. The Devices Report shows what happened during each service at all the pest control devices installed at your location. Choose Devices from the main menu and enter the date range you wish to review. You can use the filter bar to narrow down your search. For example, enter the inspection type from the drop-down menu. You can choose Activity Only, which excludes inspections that scanned OK showing no concerns. Inspections when pest activity was detected, issues which show inspections that required follow-up, or open issues, which will refine your results even further to display only open issues that are still unresolved and require your attention. You can filter even further by selecting the Baited Devices Only button, which will give you reports on baited stations only, such as exterior devices for rodent control. You can choose to review devices based on their condition, which can help you easily locate damaged devices or those that have become inaccessible and need to be checked. Select Bait Scale to only show findings where rodent control devices have exhibited the selected amount of bait consumption. Use the Device ID field to locate specific devices according to your unique identification numbers. This will allow you to get detailed information at any time on a specific device, which is very helpful in the case of an audit. Select Submit to run your report. 
The Buy Ticket tab shows the exact time of service, the device ID and location, the product or type of device and its condition, the scale of activity and the activity flags, coded R for bait replaced, P for pest activity detected, and I for issues that have arisen as a result of the inspection. The Buy Device view displays the device information, including date and time it was serviced, the device ID and location, the product type and the condition it's in. You'll also see the scale of activity and the activity flag for that device. If activity has been reported, you can dig deeper by clicking on the plus sign to get more information, such as notes on pest captures or equipment that was serviced. The final view option in devices are the bait consumption charts. These charts display rodent feeding activity within the bait stations, showing levels of rodent activity outside your facility. Hover over the markers to see the actual details. So that's how ABLE's ESM program will give you instant information on all your pest control devices. Part of our pest control partnership with you involves making recommendations to help you pest-proof your facility. These are recorded in your Corrective Actions Report. When the recommendation is completed, your ABLE technician marks it as resolved, showing you've done what was required. Your Corrective Actions Report keeps track of this for you and allows you to easily identify any outstanding issues that still need your attention. Choose Corrective Actions from the main menu. You can click Submit right away to show all corrective actions that are still outstanding, or you can expand your search by unchecking the box marked Show Open Issues Only. This will allow you to select a date range if you wish. Use the Issue Type filter to specify what you're looking for, such as sanitation or structural issues that might be attracting pests. Use the Issue Owner filter to search for issues based on whose responsibility it is, your facility manager, your ABLE technician, or either. Even if an issue is owned by the customer, it can only be marked closed by your ABLE service technician, usually on a follow-up call. You can also filter your report to a specific location by clicking on the Site Filter button and choosing which location you want to review. Select Submit to run your report. You'll see one line item per issue. The status of the issue is shown in the CL or Closed column, which will appear as a yes or no. Comments entered by your service technician are shown directly below the issue itself. If the issue is owned by the customer, you'll see a pencil icon allowing customers to add comments of their own. Click on the pencil and type in the box, and then choose a general description from the drop-down choices. Your ABLE technician will view these comments the next time he comes. Don't forget to save your comments before moving on. To report non-urgent pest activity to your technician, click on the button above and type in your comments. Your ABLE technician will receive these comments and act on them the next time he comes. With ABLE's ESM Corrective Actions Reports, you'll always be able to track the actions taken by your staff or by your ABLE service technician to address issues reported during a service. If an auditor comes to inspect, you'll be able to provide exact information on all actions taken, right down to a specific device on a certain date. Plus, the report allows you to keep track of all outstanding pest control issues, so you'll always know what you need to do next. ESM delivers total efficiency for the management of pests in your business. The Pesticide Usage Report shows what products were used, for what purposes, and how much was administered. Under the Corrective Actions tab, choose Pesticide Usage. The pest name allows you to filter results based on a specific pest species. You can narrow down your report based on what type of pesticide was used by choosing the primary ingredient, the pesticide name, or PCP number. The Only Show option allows you to filter the results based on calls where pesticides were or were not used. 
Select Submit to run your report. The Usage by Ticket tab shows one line for each service whether or not pesticides were used. For those services marked Y for Yes, pesticides were used and you can click on the plus sign to get more details. Under the Full Details tab, each row represents details on a single pesticide application, including the product information and PCP number. This tab provides an ongoing summary of all applications used at your facility, allowing for easy review of your total pesticide use over time. The Usage Trends tab displays a chart showing your pesticide usage and trends over a period of time. Hover over the markers to see the actual details. Being able to see the big picture of your overall pesticide use can help you take more environmentally responsible actions and can help you work towards green certification, such as LEEDS. It's a powerful part of ABLE's ESM program The Comments report displays all comments logged by your ABLE technician that didn't generate a corrective action. These can include comments on structural or sanitation concerns, or simple maintenance. Go to Comments on the main menu and enter a date range. Choose the issue type to narrow your results to one or more specific type of comment. For example, you only want to view comments on trap inspection, sanitation, and structural problems. Use the site filter if you want to narrow down your search to a specific location, and then submit to view all comments. ESM provides an easy way to keep track of all comments your ABLE technician makes. They're all in one place, and you can go back at any time to review. It's much easier than scribbling notes or keeping track of handwritten memos in hard-to-find files. It makes communication with your ABLE technician effortless and totally efficient. The Pest Summary Report shows historical pest activity for each location broken down by the category of the pest. It provides a good overall view of the types of pests that have been reported across the selected date range. Under Pest Reports on the main menu, select Summary and set the dates you want to review. Choose one or more pest type or leave it on Show All. Click on Submit to run the report. The Pest Activity Summary shows the total number of pests detected in each location during that time according to type. Select the Graph tab to get a graphical view of pest activity over the past 12-month period. Hover your mouse over the markers to get specific data. With the graph view, you can see in a glance the peak times for any given pests over the year. The more detailed Pest Activity Report allows you to see exactly what pests were found at each location over the selected date range. This report is ideal for drilling down to specific incidents. Under Pest Reports, select Activity and set a date range. You can use the Pest Filter to narrow it down to specific pest species. Choose as many species as you wish. Click on the arrow in the middle to move them from Available to Selected. Click on Apply to apply the filter. A red X will appear on the filter bar. To clear this filter at any time, click on the red X. You can also filter by the ticket number for information relating to a specific call. The Pest Disposition option filters the results by how the pest was found, in a trap or not. Select Submit to run the report. The Details view shows by date of service the kind of pests that were captured or cited and how many. It also shows the specific device ID where the pest was caught. The Summary view shows the total number of pests found per service and how many different species or distinct pests were found. There are three graph options when you run this report, weekly, monthly, and quarterly. All three show the total quantity of pests over the past year broken down by week, month, and quarter. Hover over any part of the bar to get the details. 
To focus on larger pest issues, enter the acceptable number of pests in the threshold text box to narrow down your search or use the pest type filter to focus on a particular type of pest. ABLE's ESM Pest Reports will help you easily understand what pests pose critical problems for you and at what times of the year you need to be vigilant. This information can help you control pests more proactively with the help of your ABLE service technician.